By virtue of their four-game losing streak, the Denver Broncos have painted themselves into a corner. Having their backs against the wall makes them a dangerous team, both to opponents and themselves. Although the AFC West has come back to them in a sense, the Broncos can't afford to focus on the future or the conference big picture, not with the 6-2 New England Patriots coming to town. This is the same Bronco roster that laid an epic 42-17 beatdown on the Dallas Cowboys in Week 2. They still have the talent to win games. But what no team can do, including the Broncos, is battle their opponents and themselves on game day. As NFL Network's James Palmer reported, the Broncos have turned the ball over 12 times in their own territory this season, which is the most in the NFL. But wait, there's more. Opposing teams have started a drive in Denver territory, a whopping 18 times this season, also most in the NFL. For context, as Palmer pointed out, the Patriots, Chiefs, Cowboys, and Seahawks have combined to face 16 such drives. As Coach Vance Joseph said on Friday, the Patriots play disciplined football, and regardless of how deep their roster is in a given season, it puts New England in position to win a lot of games. If the football cliche that games are lost, not won is true, then the Broncos have to do whatever it takes to not beat themselves. That means battening down the hatches offensively and staying committed to the running game. Scrap the three wide sets and take the pressure off of Brock Osweiler by running two tight end and heavy personnel groupings. The Broncos clearly don't have the personnel to run Mike McCoy's preferred system with the three wides. The offensive line needs help, so give it to him, Coach Joseph. The Broncos haven't won the turnover battle since week four, which happens to be the last time they won. The silver lining is that Denver has won a league-high 31 consecutive games when winning the turnover battle. This week, even going against a complex opponent like the Patriots, the formula is simple. Deploy a conservative, run-first offensive attack, protect the football, and let the Broncos' defense do what they do best in front of the home crowd and get after Tom Brady. For Mile High Huddle, I'm Chad Jensen.